Okay, hello, this is Dr. Janes, and today I'm going to talk about Kden Live resetting the parameters. And um, it's very easy when you're using Kden Live. It's a, it's a great free freeware uh, video editing editing program. To I, I use it uh, for a lot of my videos, pretty much all of them actually. Uh, it's very powerful. It's um, cheap or free, right? Can't beat free. But um, sometimes you'll do something and it will mess up Kden Live, and it'll be really annoying, and you can't get back to where you started. And I, I did this a long time ago, and I made a video on it, and then I watched my video to try to reset it, and I realized that there's actually um, two different places where they can keep the parameters to reset it. So it looks like uh, I'm running a new version of uh, Ubuntu. This is for Linux, and um, the uh, the reset was not in the same place as before. Let's take a look here. Um, so it says it can either be under .kde, which I made a video uh, showing how to get there, .kde.share.config.kdenlive.rc, or it's under .config. So I, I went under the, the first one, and it wasn't there. And so um, it's actually under the .config, .kden. It's, it's actually under a different directory, but it's under the .config. So let, let's, let's check this out. So I'm going to go to Files, and... Um, <coughs> Let's get rid of one of these and go into the home directory. And not all the files are displayed. So if you hit here, let's take a look. Control H on the keyboard. There's Control and there's H. Control H. Okay. When you do that, it will bring up all the hidden files, the dot hidden files. And if you look under here, there's no KDE file like what they suggested. That's what I used last time. And But there is a config file. So if I click on the config file, um, and there is no KDE RC. There's only a KDE Apple image. Well, well first, before I do this, uh, this, this is where the reset is right here. It's a Kden Live Apple Image RC. So let, let me load up Kden Live, and I'll show you what it looks like before we change it. So what what happened was is that um, I uh, uploaded I was doing some fancy uh, green screen stuff and I uploaded an un unusual size uh, uh, image that I created in uh, uh, GIMP and for some reason it reset the the standard image size to that and then it would skew skew the picture always and then I had to go back through and try the fiddle around doing all sorts of stuff to try to fix that. But anyway, so this this is what our, our uh, Kden Live looks like. And the image was skewed. It would stretch it in an in un, unstandard direction. And so let's uh, change the name of this. You can, the internet su suggests deleting it, but I always like to rename things. I'll just call this a 2. And, uh, oh, We'll call this a three, I guess. I was practicing renaming it before. Okay. So now there is no Kden Live dash app imager RC with without a anything after it. So we basically destroyed that file as far as Kden is concerned. So let's reload Kden. Oh, see, it creates a new file. And now, somehow I set it to default white in the background. I'm not sure how I did that, but this is the original default to black. So it looks like it has reset Kden Live by doing this. And, it, and uh, I did switch it back before, and it does go back to the white screen if I use the old um, config file. So it looks like it set me up with a new config file. So hopefully this should uh, fix our problems here. And uh, anyway. Uh, it looks like they put the uh, the config to uh, reset Kden Live in different places sometimes, and so I'm updating my video here, and hopefully this helps you. Uh, this is for Linux systems also. This is uh, Dr. Janes, and thanks for watching.